Lee from CompSci Studio, and welcome back to your 44th Java programming tutorial. So if you guys haven't noticed already, I actually switched up my screen recorder because a lot of you have been saying that you couldn't see the code. So um, I hope this makes things better. Hope you guys can actually see the code now. Um, and yeah, if you guys still can't see it, send me some messages and I'll try and find another screen recorder that has a little better quality. Um, anyway, this tutorial is all about constructor overloading. And I already taught you about method overloading. It's basically when you have more than one method with the same method name, but you have different parameters that you pass into that method. So that's why it's valid in Java. It's because you're allowed to have a method with the same name as long as it has different parameters. So it's the same concept, except we're just going to be using um, constructors instead of just normal methods. So make sure you guys have a second class. I'm going to be using my tomatoes class again. Um, I should probably switch this up in one of the tutorials and change it to like, I don't know, hamburger or something. I don't know. But first off, let's make our tomato constructors. So all you have to do is go public tomatoes. So we're just going to make a default constructor. And it's going to be a really simple constructor. Once you call this one, it's just going to print out, um, let's say, s out tab. And some of you guys uh, didn't know how to um, do this print statement. Uh, the shortcut for it. So all you have to do, I don't know if I taught you guys this, but I'll teach it again. S-O-U-T, and then hit your tab button, and it auto-completes it for you. So that saves you a lot of time when you're coding. Um, so yeah, we'll just say, like, I love tomatoes. Yeah, so that sounds good. And um, so constructor overloading is basically when you have more than one constructor um, that has the same well more than one constructor because all constructors would have the same name um, so let's make another one what should we do public tomatoes and this time we're gonna pass in two integer values in one and then in two Ugh, can't spell and what the heck just happened there that's kind of weird there's my curly braces and um, in this one, we're just going to do a simple addition statement. So it's just going to print out the sum of the two numbers. So just do your SO little quick shortcut thing. And um, just go one plus variable two. And um, we'll make one more uh, constructor just to show you guys that you can actually make as many as you want and not just two. So let's make another one public tomatoes. And um, inside of here, we're just going to put a boolean because we don't usually use boolean. We may as well use it. It's there. And um, let's say so the above statements. Come on, Anthony. R plus B. So it would be like if they put in um, false, it would say the above statements are false. And I don't know, it's just something stupid, but it's kind of dumb, but whatever. It's a program, and it shows you guys the concept. Um, so let's go into our YouTube tutorials class. And we're going to make three objects, just so they call um, our individual constructors. So let's make our first object, tomatoes. And object one is equal to new tomatoes. So when we leave empty parameters, um, it will go automatically to this constructor, and it'll print out I love tomatoes. And now let's use this one right here. Um, so we have to make another object to call that constructor, uh, tomatoes object 2. Make sure you call it something different, by the way, or else uh, Java will flip out at you and start whining. And uh, say new tomatoes, and let's pass in two numbers. Uh, what are some good numbers? Let's go 10 and 67. And uh, so that um, object right there that we just created, we'll call this constructor right here. Um, and finally, let's just call this last constructor. So let's go tomatoes, object 3, oh, not 23. Don't got that many. Equals new tomatoes. And uh, what were we supposed to put? Oh, yeah, boolean. So yeah, we may as well say true, why not? Um, so yeah, let's run this puppy and I'll show you guys what, what happens. Okay, and I just remembered you guys can't actually see the output, so I'm going to have to move this up. 
that didn't work. There it is. So it says, as you can see, it says, I love tomatoes, um, 77, and the above statements are true. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. Either send me a message or leave a comment in the uh, comment box below. And I hope you enjoy this video. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.